Okay, I'm back. It's been seven days, and we're going to find out the answer to the question, can you use sand to tumble rocks? Well, actually, the answer is, yeah, you can. What we're going to find out is, will it work? Uh, from last week, just to recap for anybody that's watching this video but didn't watch last week, um, I took two three-pound barrels on my Lorton, the one that is labeled rough, this one. I use straight 60 silicon carbide, your normal step one grit, okay? Then I took another barrel, the one labeled fine, and I put sand in it, okay? I have the same kind of rocks that I got at the same place in both. I weighed them before I tumbled them, and today we're going to see what the results are. Okay, so I'm going to do the rough barrel first because I, I already know what this is going to look like when I open it up. Okay, and I'm actually doing this inside because I don't want anybody claiming that when I move the camera from outside to inside that I'm changing something or doing something like that. Yeah, so I'm actually going to do this inside. Now, uh, let you see me open the barrel. Okay, this is a perfectly normal what it would look like after step one. Okay, so here we go. Here are the rocks. Okay, I'm going to move my bucket a little bit so I can get some water. I'll just use the, the barrel. We don't want to get the slurry you don't want to let it go down your drain. So basically that's why I'm, I'm cleaning these rocks off and the, all the all the wastewater is going to go into a bucket and then I will take it outside and dump it outside. Okay. Um, So the slurry in the step one looked pretty much like it normally looks. I guess you're going to have to trust my honesty because I'm going to move the rocks to a towel so they can dry off a little bit. Because when I weighed them the original time, they weren't wet, and I'm not going to, you know, we're not going to have somebody claim that the, the weight of the water on the rocks is going to change the results. So I'm moving them to a towel where they will dry, and then we'll take a look at what the sand's going to look like. Okay, oop, I dropped one. Pick that one up. Okay, I'm going to have to clean this off before I weigh. That's the that's the uh, silicon carbide barrel. Now, this is what I've been waiting for, and I, I'm actually excited about this one. I want to see what this looks like, too. Uh, I have never tried to tumble rocks with sand. Um, I'm, I don't know what to expect here. I suspect it's just going to look like muddy water. I don't think we're going to have much of a slurry. Okay. Break the seal here. You can see as I see. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty much like muddy water. And I'm gonna dump this in. Okay. It doesn't look like it had much of an effect on the rocks at all. Alright, I'm not surprised on this. Like I said last week, the sand is not harder than the rocks. Silicon carbide is harder than the rocks. Um so basically, it, it will abrade them, but it's going to take much longer. Um, so, you know, I, I, this, this hobby is already not one for the impatient. I don't want to spend seven, eight thousand years doing one batch. Okay. 
does look like it may have cleaned them a little bit. There we go. Uh, the barrel cleaned pretty easily. Alright, so just as I did before, I'm going to move these rocks to a towel. I have the towels labeled. Uh, I guess you'll have to trust me when I move over that I didn't put the sand rocks on the normal towel and I didn't put the normal rocks on the sand towel or anything like that. Okay. And I am going to weigh all the rocks. I'm not going to do anything weird. Okay, the risk of hopefully not making somebody seasick, I'm going to change your perspective so you can see what I see, see what I'm looking at. Okay, I normally wouldn't set it up like this because I'm going to try not to give everybody a close-up of my elbow. Okay, but uh, I can't get you, I can't get all the rocks that way. Okay, so here's where we are. Right here, I have the Lotto rocks. I did those in 122.20 for three days. I cleaned them off. I charged it up again with fresh 122.20 and did three more days. Um, I did weigh them. That's not on camera, but the results of that, after three days, they were down at 1.4 ounces, and after six days, they were down another ounce for a total of 2.4 ounces after six days. Um, now, if you think about 32... 43 we start out with 43 ounces of rocks okay no the weight of the, we'd have to we had the weight of the uh, barrel in there too but essentially the total weight including the barrel was 43 ounces and we lost 2.4 of that which be roughly five percent okay so that's I, I can do the math later uh, maybe I'll do that but I can't do that math in my head Okay, here we have the rough barrel rocks in the center. Okay, these are the ones that were in the three pound barrel for seven days, okay? And they, uh, that's your normal step one. Uh, a lot of people use 60-90 grit. I, I have no real reason to believe that I would have gotten significantly better results with my 60, straight 60 grit. Uh, it may be slightly more abrasive, but you know, I don't believe it would be a huge difference. And then at the far end, these are the rocks that I, I did in sand. Okay, so I'm going to load them up. I'm going to use the same barrel uh, because the other barrels are dirty. Uh, so I'm going to use this barrel. I'm going to load them up. And I'm going to weigh them again. Okay, we're going to do the, the normal rough rocks first because they're dry mostly, but the uh, sand rocks are still drying off. I should have put some hot water on them before I moved them over. Okay, with the, the rough barrel, we start out with 3 pounds, 0 0.8 ounces. So I'm going to fire up the scale. Get to zero. 2 pounds, 14.9 ounces. Okay, so we probably lost about the same amount as we did in the, in the step two. Okay, so we went from 3 pounds, 0 0.8 ounces to 2 pounds, 14.9 ounces. So total loss, 1.1 and 0.8 would be 1.9, 1.9 ounces. So we lost less, less rock on a overall higher weight start, okay? So by the looks of it, recharging the, the 12220 in the middle may have, may have made it almost as effective as doing step one. Uh, so whoever it was, that if, if whoever it was that I, I talked with on one of the Facebook pages 
that told me they did they do all their step one and step two on a on a vibratory uh, i guess i owe them an apology but i will uh reiterate that i would never put rough like this in my vibratory because remember i started with rocks that were more or less smooth already uh, i have a feeling something like this would tear up the rubber of my barrel okay so there we go all right so let's dump these back out we'll load up the sand with the sand we started with two pounds 15.2 ounces So two pounds, 15.2 ounces. I'll zero this out just to be sure. And when I put it on, two pounds, 15.4 ounces. Somehow we gained weight. <laughs> I don't know how, uh, but somehow we gained weight. Um, I, 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 I got nothing on that. Um, I guess you would say that my scale is probably not accurate to the tenth of an ounce uh, you know what just for kicks and giggles just to make sure the weight difference isn't in the barrel I'm gonna switch it and I'm gonna try it in the barrel that I actually tumbled them in I kind of assumed that most of my barrels weighed about the same I gotta dry it out because it's it's wet we'll try that we'll put it in the barrel that they were actually tumbled in Okay, let's try this. See, <laughs> you, you know what though? I have used the, these two barrels, the rough and the fine, one, for over a year in straight rough grit. Maybe I have worn an extra ounce or so off of this. Two pounds, fifteen ounces. Okay, so it looks like it, the difference was the difference in the weight of my barrels. Okay, so two pounds, 15 ounces for the uh, sand, two pound, 15 ounces. So it looks like we lost roughly two tenths of an ounce. Uh, now, whether that could be accounted for in dirt and stuff like that, you know, I don't know. Let me, let, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna empty this out again. We're gonna weigh the barrels. The barrel that I weighed, it, the, the barrel that I ran them in was 13.7 ounces. The barrel that I weighed them in the first time, 14.1 ounces. Okay, so yeah, I guess I have worn four tenths of an ounce more off of this uh, fine barrel than off of the, the the other barrel that I hadn't used in quite a while. Uh, when I just had the three pound lower tone, I actually had four barrels and I used one for rough, one for fine, one for pre-polish and one for polish. Um, and I've been using just the rough and fine barrels and doing rough every time. Uh, so there's the, there's the difference. All right. Well, that is, that is your answer. And, or, well, sort of your answer. I would still say there are no rock tumbling police. You want to try and tumble rocks in sand, tumble rocks in sand. Nobody's going to pound on your door and take away your, your rock tumbler. Uh, but from what I'm seeing here, uh, it is not going to be effective. And even if it is effective, it will not be nearly as effective as using your silicone carbide, um, you know, in a uh, regular uh, step one. Uh, as far as doing step one in a vibratory, uh, you know what? I've always heard that it will ruin your barrel those barrels are expensive I'm not taking that chance I'm not putting 60 grit in my vibratory I'm not going to put step one rocks uh, anything I put into the lotto is already pretty much rounded like this okay and that way it's the rocks aren't going to tear up my barrel and the grits not going to tear up my barrel uh, I will probably once I'm done here 
I'm probably going to clean out the 12 pound and maybe I'll throw a little extra video on the end showing you what the Botswana agates look like. I still, I, I, I mean, this is the end of three weeks. I haven't taken one out yet. I haven't seen one that I feel like it's ready. I sort of don't expect that I'm going to take any out today. Um, agates are hard. It takes a while. All right, so I'll probably be back in just a little bit with some video of what those Botswana agates look like. And actually, I think I'm going to pick out a handful of these rocks that um, I tumbled uh, from the river. And uh, I'll throw them back into the lotto and finish them up. Because I do have a bunch of them that I think I could go right to step two now. Okay, which actually, should I have to do step two? I already did step two. Uh, that's a whole other ugly question. All right, be back in just a second. As I suspected, the, there weren't a whole lot ready to go in the Botswana agates. Those things are really hard. And I, I think they have the potential to be really spectacular. So I'm not going to rush things. I'm just going to keep going. I did pull a few out. A couple of them are Bahia agates. Um, and they are mostly pretty small ones. And I think I'm going to throw those in with the, uh, the rocks that I'm going to go ahead and put in the lotto from the experiment. Okay, so here's what they look like wet. You make sure that focused. There we go. All right, so basically I'll see how they turn out. Um, I'm going to put those in with the stuff from before. I did think of something else. I messed up my experiment. So feel free to flame me in the comments. I weighed the, the rough rocks in the other barrel too. So uh, they were probably a good three ounces lighter. So the rough, uh, the rough probably took off three more ounces than what, what I had actually reported. So there you go. That's, that's why I'm not a scientist and I'm not a, uh, you know, I'm not a researcher, but I think the, the point is made. And the, the one thing I can't get across that, that some of you who do this, you understand uh, when I touch these rocks, especially the ones that are pretty smooth, you can tell they've, that, that it's a finer grit. When I touch the, the rough ones, they feel almost powdery um, from where they've been smoothed out. The rocks from the sand, they feel just like they felt when I picked them up on the riverbank. They, it really didn't change them much. Um, all right, so that's the plan. Oh, I also wanted to point out the rocks that I broke, I think I found some of them. And most of them, in the step two, they did get rounded off pretty well. In the rough, they got rounded off pretty well. Um, in the sand, it really didn't make much of a difference at all. So I, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know that sand would be a good alternative to silicon carbide. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some of the sand ones in to the three pound and maybe I'll have some more of these that I'll shiny up next week. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.